the right bottom side of Nimbus, we have our yellow Protoss player playing for Alien Invasion. He is CPU. And to the top left, we have the purple Zerg. It's Flopgun. And he's playing for a funny clan with Pikachu as their clan ID. Oh, really? Yeah, that's Pikachu. Oh, that, that is, yeah, right. I just was <laughs> watching right at it, not realizing that I was watching at it. Pika <laughs> so. Pika! Pika Pika! Pikachu! Okay, so I have no idea um, what people actually use for an observer interface these days, because uh, mine is a little bit screwed up. It's got the clan tags and everything is just floating over each other. Okay, so normally they use the WCS two O um, lay uh, D uh, blah, the WCS. Oh yeah, but I hate that overlay. And for some reason, I couldn't use my um, observer hotkeys uh, okay. for, in that overlay. I don't know why. No. Well, maybe you have to try out the WCS layout later on, since it's the only one really in use right now, and the other one isn't getting updated anymore. So yeah. <laughs> Is Flop kind of German guy? <laughs> All right. Uh, I, think I think so, he yeah. Is. Yeah, he is. I think right. he is. So, CPU just trying to get his opponent out of focus by talking to him about yep. casual stuff. So, is, is that too... No, it's not too gas. I was just thinking this is too gas, but this is a pool in the gas. <laughs> yeah, we do have both gases taken by CPU. Yeah. Um, that's pretty normal for... That's pretty normal. Uh, so far, let's see how many workers he sends in there. Two on the second gas, and... Two on the first. That works. And also a pretty early pull out of flop gun, but um, nothing, uh, nothing really, all too crazy about it so far. Let's see if, if he takes in a span now. Yeah, I don't really know why he's taking that pull so early, since the distances of, on this map are particularly long, and then you have this ramp which you can block with only two structures uh, with using uh, uh, maybe, maybe three structures it depends on how you put them together mm -hmm. so it's very difficult to get inside the base or do some kind of pressure to any kind of opponent that can wall off his ramp so hmm. we'll just see what he's going to do with this early pool well he's of course he's now um, trying to get speed links hmm, yep. maybe just for map control or trying to defend against uh, gateway all-ins yeah, we already have four links out on the map, and they're making their way over to CPU space. But as you said, I mean... Um, Closely missing that probe. <laughs> yeah, just missing that by a tiny bit. But as you said, I mean, um, the um, the ramp is actually pretty pretty narrow there, and it would take a while to just chew away that, that debris. So I think he's going to be fine just defending this for now. But I think there's and a little gap between these these buildings, right? Where normally a zealot should be inside? I don't know. Is that, is that close? Yeah, he should get a zealot, but I think with the Mothership Core he should be fine in defending this. Yeah, yeah, you see the Zerklings turning around right away. They know they can't shoot away at anything here. And the hatchery has been taken halfway finished so far. He's getting the second queen out. So I don't know if those four Zerklings were actually worth it right there. Um, he could have gone with four, but then again it's it's a Nimbus, it's a little bit of a larger map, so uh, having those four Zerklings available to just uh, distribute all over the map and um, just to check, okay, um, maybe he's sending out probes somewhere, maybe he's hiding a probe, um, like he is doing uh, right here um, at the uh, fifth expansion there at 9 o'clock position. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but I think he, he might have been able to just walk through with some of these links, trying to get more information inside CPU space, but then again he decided to get them out soon enough so that he has the chance to scout for probes, and maybe he's going to find this one, and he misses the one barely. Ooh, yep. Or maybe he's going to come back soon. Uh, we do have the Observer making its way towards the main base, but he's turning around. Ooh, he doesn't want to lose it, but that's actually crucial, because we have a Stargate incoming. And he's already producing the first oracle here. And um, yeah, I think... Did we see a chrono boost on that? No, not yet. And the forge is also following this. So I think he's just going to try to do as much damage as he can. <laughs> and still trying to uh, delay his opponent by just uh, asking him weird questions. But uh, that's fine. That's fine. All good. And just now the Roach Horn coming in for pl Flop Gun. But uh, regular timing, he should be going for his layer here pretty soon, but still pretty low on gas. Yeah, I don't really know what he's going to do. I mean, he of course he's lacking, he's lacking gas because he took his third base so early on, and now he needs uh, some minerals in order to drone up heavily, so he cannot really afford pushing guys into geysers. 
uh, because it just needs the amount of minerals. So there's the first oracle flying in. There's a queen there, but that's the only thing. One drone, two, maybe two drones? No? Oh, nice movement here by a flop gun. Uh, yeah, but you should save this one. Oh no! Actually, losing two here or uh, six kills overall, but um, and the after is already reacting. Life. Yep. Uh. Still 16 hit points left, so that's gonna stay alive for uh, for a little while longer. And yes. he should be going for a couple more queens or spore cronus. He's getting the first one here in the main, and also got a second gas, but a little bit low saturation in the main. So he will have to get a couple more drones to actually saturate that gas. And let's see what the follow-up for CPU is going to be. He's getting the Void Ray, and he's uh, also third getting base. the plus one, and third base. So it's going to be a little bit of a longer game. Yeah, CPU Try. is actually quite ahead at that moment. He has already 48 probes, while his opponent is still sticking on 39 drones after losing the six by uh, the Oracle. The Oracle is going in again now. Probably getting maybe one or two other drones. Yeah, and there's the Spore Crawler. Ooh, the Spore Crawler finishing, I think. Oh! No, he's not going to get the final kill here. Again, 16 hit points left. Getting it uh, the shield saved him. And I think we're going to see a little bit of a Blink Stalker push here by CPU incoming. Um, he's going to get and um, defend the third, uh, the third Nexus. Maybe put a couple more gateways up uh, and just a cannon or two behind this. And then he's just going to move out um, with the Void Rays and with the Blink Stalkers as soon as he has them. The biggest problem for Flopgun is right now that he is only on three bases, while his opponent almost already has his third base up. He doesn't even know about the third base of CPU, and he's going to find out in just a few seconds. But then it's probably going to be too late, since he cannot really do anything to uh, delay or even destroy the third once it's up. And then uh, things are looking pretty good for the Protoss player. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what Flopgun actually went for here. I mean, um... He was uh, on a pretty low saturation uh, early on. He got the third at, at a kind of a weird timing where he couldn't really saturate it and uh, was pretty low on queens the entire time. Um, his injects are also not really spot on. So he's, he's missing a lot of larvae and a lot of drones and I don't exactly see the plan here. Well, he's, uh, the, the Spire is just going to finish in just a few seconds and he's already building up a little bit of gas so that he will be able to produce some mutas out of them. So five to six mutas once the Spire pops and uh, we'll see if he can make good use of these, um, of these um, mutas. It depends on whether CPU expects them, he hasn't scouted them yet, but um, he has only seen Lynx so far so he might um, he might guess that something is coming, but I think there's no cannons or any other static defense inside the his natural base or his third base. Uh, so yeah, no, maybe Mutas will do something. He's getting so many gateways right now. Um, he has Blink almost finished, and he's almost on plus two. So I think he's going to be fine uh, just dealing with these Mutas. He also has a lot of sentries on the ground, so um, just getting those um, getting those force fields up and running uh, to uh, safest ground for safest stalkers. Uh, from the links, I think um, this is just going to be fine. But let's see how the how he deals with these mutas. We have a couple of mutas making their way towards the third base, uh, actually the natural. And, and the interesting part is that he tried to get up his forward pylon right there on the left side, but it uh, didn't uh, it didn't work. Um, Flopgun just saw the pylon getting warped in with his mutas, so he just pulled some um, links to rip it. Oh, apart. there's a switch to phoenixes. So I don't think these mutas will do all that much. Link Stalkers are in position, they will grab a single mutant? No, not quite. And he doesn't want to waste his Phoenix just uh, chasing after these mutas. So I think they're going to do a little bit more damage, but so far not really worth it. And we still have that Protoss army marching towards his uh, third base. And this is a pretty strong army, he's on plus two already. And um, yeah, I don't think uh, Flopgun has anything going for him. Still on 0-0, zero, zero. Uh, might even lose a couple mutas there. Uh, yeah. Not yet. Not, yeah, he's, going, not yeah, he's, he's going to have to make a very important decision right now. Is he going to uh, raid the third base of his opponent or is he trying to pull back to defend his own base there? What he's doing right now is not the best thing he can do. He's just wasting some links into the force. He didn't really look at his army obviously at that point and just lost a lot of links for nothing there. And now he's quite short on units. He's just trying to uh, morph in some more uh, mutas there, but nothing on the ground to really defend that push. More than enough stalkers. And of course the Guardian Shield just buffering the amount of damage that the mutas can do. Almost all of the mutas have already been shut down. This yeah, is I think he's going to be safe. I was just going to suggest that getting the force field up on the ramp is going to make him uh, feel super safe since he doesn't have those Ling reinforcements he has to deal with. 
and I think this should be it. I mean, he's gonna take out the natural here. Um, the third, uh, or actually the third, um, the natural is still in a good position, and he did save a couple of drones. But what he has, uh, what does he, what does he have at home? Just a couple of muters, a couple of links, and uh, two spines. I don't think that's anywhere near enough to um, <laughs> to stop this mighty Protoss force. <laughs> Not even remotely close. Yeah, and he has a follow-up uh, incoming as well, uh, going for the Templar Archives. Which he's probably not going to need anyways. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be used, but um, at least having that option ready um, is a good idea. Uh, just having storms available oh, to Oh, even the dancing oh, there! Oh, jeez. The insult. Pretty BM. BM, yeah, yeah, so BM. <laughs> yeah, his opponent is obviously a lot worse than he is. I think he's a diamond player, while CPU is Grandmaster. I think Grandmaster has just started today or yesterday.